Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am New York Messenger of the Word of God, Senator Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Job 36 through 37 and Acts 15, 22 through 41. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Julio speaks of God's dealings with mankind. Job 36 Then Julio continued and said, Wait for me a little, and I will show you that there is still more to be said on God's behalf. I will bring my knowledge from afar, and ascribe righteousness to my Maker. For truly my words are not false. One who is perfect in knowledge is with you. Behold, God is mighty, but does not reject anyone. He is mighty in strength, understanding, and he does not keep the wicked alive, but gives justice to the afflicted. He does not withdraw his eyes from righteous, but with kings on the throne, he has seated them forever and they are exalted. And if they are bound in shackles and are caught in the snares of misery, then he declares to them their work and their wrongdoings, that they have been arrogant. He opens the ears to instruct and commands that they return from injustice. If they listen and serve him, they will end their days in prosperity and their years in happiness. But if they do not listen, they will perish by the sword and die without knowledge. But the godless in heart nurture anger. They do not call for help when he binds them. They die in youth, and their life perishes among the cult prostitutes. He rescues the afflicted in their misery and opens their ears in time of oppression. Then, indeed, he induces you away from the mouth of distress. And instead of it, a broad place with no constraint, and your table was full of rich food, but you were full of judgment on the wicked. And judgment and justice take hold of you, and beware the wrath does not entice you to mockery. And do not let the greatness of the ransom turn you aside. Will you cry for help, keep you from distress, or all the extortions of your strength? Do not long for the night when people vanish in their places and be careful do not turn to evil for you prefer this to misery and behold God is exalted in his power who is a teacher like him who has appointed him his way and who has said you have done wrong remember that you are to exalt his work of which people have sung. All people have seen it. Mankind looks at it from afar, and behold, God is exalted, and we do not know him. The number of his years is unsearchable, for he draws up the drops of water. They still <laughs> rain from its celestial stream which clouds pour down, and they drip upon mankind abundantly. And can anyone understand the spreading of the clouds, the thundering of his pavilion? Behold, he spreads his lightning about him, and he covers the depths of the sea. For by them he judges people, and he gives food in abundance. He covers his hands with the lightning and commands it to strike the targets. Its thundering voice declares his 
presence the livestock also concerning what is coming up. Elios says that God has authority over the storms. Job 37. At this also my heart trembles and leaps from its place. Listen closely to the thunder of his voice and the rumbling that goes on from his mouth. Under the whole heavens he lets it loose, and his lightning travels to the ends of the earth. After it a voice roars, he thunders with his majestic voice, and he does not restrain the lightning when his voice is heard. God thunders wondrously with his voice doing great things which we do not comprehend. For the snow, he says, fall on the earth, and to the downpour and the rain be sprung. He seals the hand of every person so that all people may know his work. And then the animal goes into its lair and remains in its den. From the south comes the storm, and from the north wind is cold. From the breath of God ice is made, and the expense of the waters is frozen. He also loads the clouds with moisture. He disperses the clouds of his lightning. It changes directions, turning round around by his gardens that it may do whatever he commands it on the face of the inhabited earth. And whether for correction or for his earth or for godlessness, he causes it to happen. Listen to this, Job. Stand and consider the wonders of God. Do you know how God establishes them? and makes the lightning of his clouds to shine? Do you know about the hovering of the clouds, the wonders of one who is perfect in knowledge, you whose garments are hot, and when the land is still because of the south winds? And can you, with him, spread out the skies as calm as a cast metal mirror? Teach us what we are to say to him, We cannot present our case because of darkness, and shall it be told him that I would speak, or should a man say that he would be swallowed up? Man, now, people do not see the light which is bright in the skies, but the wind has passed and cleared them. From the north comes golden splendor. Around God is awesome majesty. The Almighty, we cannot find him. He is exalted in power, and he will not violate justice and abundant righteousness. And therefore people fear him. He does not regard any who are wise of heart. That was Job 36 through 37. Now we will be turning to Acts 15, 22. Acts 15, 22. Then it seemed good to the apostles and the elders with the whole church to choose men from among them to send to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. Judas, who was called Barasabbas, and Silas, leading men among the brothers. And they sent this letter with them, the apostles and the brothers who are elders, to the brothers and sisters in Antioch, Syria, and Sicilia, who are from the Gentiles. Greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number of whom to whom we have give no instruction 
have confused you by their teachings, upsetting your souls. It seems good to us, having become of one mind, to select men to send to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men who have risked their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, we have sent Judas and Silas, whom and themselves will also report the same things by word of mouth, for it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these essentials, that you abstain from things sacrificed to idols, from blood, from things strangled, and from acts of sexual immorality. And if you keep yourselves free from such things, you will do well, farewell. So, when they were sent away, they went down to Antioch, and after gathering the congregation together, they delivered the letter. And when they had read it, they rejoiced because of its encouragement. Judas and Silas also bring prophets themselves, encouraging and strengthening the brothers and sisters with a lengthy message. And after they had spent time there, they were sent away from the brothers and sisters in peace to those who had sent them out. But Paul and Barnabas stayed in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord with many others also. Second Missionary Journey After some days, Paul said to Barnabas, Let's return and visit the brothers and sisters in every city in which we proclaim the words of our Lord and see how they are. Barnabas wanted to take John, called Mark, along with them also. But Paul was of the opinion that they should not take along with them this man who had deserted them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. And now it turned into such a sharp disagreement that they separated from one another, and Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus. But Paul chose Silas. And after uh, that, being entrusted by the brothers to the grace of the Lord, and he was traveling through Cyrus and Sicilia, strengthening the churches. And that was Acts 15, 22 through 41, which concludes the Bible, Frisco 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Job 38 through 40 and Acts 16, 1 through 21. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because, well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Thank you. God bless you. And please like and share.